Hello everyone, this is Hala here and uh, today we're looking at the game with two Latvian players. Uh, one from the High Diamond and the other one from the Masters League. And on the left bottom corner playing Orange, Terran is the Latvian Diamond, Puzu. And on the bottom right corner playing Yellow Protoss player is uh, Heartless, or as we all know, BTR. Yeah, today I'm casting here in English, so yeah, so I'm sorry for the mistakes any made and... Uh, Let's see what's going on here in the game. Uh, let's fasten it a little bit up so we can start and seeing something more exciting than just uh, queuing up some probes and SCVs. Yeah, about the matchup, the Terran versus Potos, it's really, really interesting. And uh, as we all know, a lot of variations here and there. And was the map uh, it's it's really good it's core hall city if I'm if I'm not mistaken so uh, I, I think we can expect a lot of interesting things here yeah as we all know well more or less and uh, it's quite typical here to play with the widow mines and uh, with oracles that are really nice openings also the reapers are really favored for the Terran player and as we <laughs> I mean like I recently noticed here on looking at the GSL uh, on GOM TV. It's Halbert Halbert drop, yeah. Uh, Halbert drop from the Terran players. It's used widely against all other players possible, uh, no matter of the race choice. And okay, let's uh, get into this game. Uh, we're starting that we're seeing the Puzo is placing the supply depot, not quite typical place, and uh, just for the uh, little mind games, maybe, maybe just seeing if there is not any probe hiding. Well, he's macroing away and uh, being in somewhere else in the map. Uh, just the uh, barracks and the marine, and uh, of course the orbital command center right, right away, having the gas minded, and uh, yeah, another supply depot. Not going for the fast expand. Uh, it's a reactor, so I always think that we'll leave in a lot of bio. Or maybe some Hellions, or uh, even the Hellbats, as I said before. Uh, meanwhile, the Heartless, or uh, playing with uh, just a gateway, a simulator, and uh, double gas, yeah, double simulators, and a uh, cybernetic core here, uh, next to the, his own base. I'm not planning for any greedy expanse or um, anything fancy at the moment. Oh, going for Twilight Council, so maybe it's a DT's coming up uh, really, really soon. Still no zealots or any units coming up from the Heartless. Uh, chrono boosting a little bit of the warp gate research. And uh, now going for the first stalker open. Uh, always good to have a stalker first and just to counter everything. Uh, it's really good against the marines and really can be a little used a little bit offensively. Snipe down one or two SCVs and uh, just scouting out what's going on in the opponent's base. We're seeing at the moment the Puzo is going for the expand, uh, yes, and the reactor is using for double marine production. Uh, it's a little bit sorry, guys, if it's the game is a little bit laggy. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it today, and uh, hope it's not disturbing you too much. Okay, uh, at the moment everything is going slow paced and uh, nothing really going on and. Uh, the warp gate research is almost halfway finished. While well, the Terran player is just producing the marines and a lot of marines, to be honest, and making even two more barracks. Adding and um, waiting for the attach lab attachment really soon and going for the steam pack or factory and uh, starport probably. Yes, it's the usual choice for the Terran players. Also, the using marauders really oftenly because of the stalkers. Yeah, and as we all know, the marines doesn't really counter those stalkers really well. Seeing at the moment that the Heartless is also taking the expand, going for the sentries and uh, yeah, charge lots of charge speed upgrade for the zealot. Really good if it's going for the, for a lot of zealots and uh, sentries. Uh, it's quite a common tactic here on the ladder and in the games in general. Uh, at the moment, Puzo is just uh, macroing. Those players are really just macroing up, and a little small compliment for the Heartless for the map control. Just trying to, to see what's going on here and there, and a little bit poking here with the Stalker. Um, not a lot of luck here, though, but uh, 
Well, he gets away. Just damaging his uh, energy shield, and it's, you know, it's gonna be regenerate really fast. And no worries about that. Um, Meanwhile, he forced Puzo to cancel the bunker production, and uh, oh, it's it's getting back here. Still producing more sentries by Heartless. Uh, expansion is ready now, and he can start mining from the two bases, same as the Puzo. Oh, adding four more gates. Oh, it's gonna be look. It's a five gate pressure, five gate early pressure, and a lot of minerals here. Uh, going for the zealots probably and additional minerals and the gas for the sentries I uh, the, the force fields and the charge lots so they're just going to slice it dice up those marines really really fast and really effectively and I think that Puzo is adding some marauders as well uh, looking for the speed upgrade I mean for the sloping upgrade here with concussion of shells but then uh, not doing yet at the moment adding also the factory engineering bay and going for the upgrades I, th I, b I believe so at least um, meanwhile, the Heartless are going for the two double forge upgrade, uh, going for the string, strong uh, ground army. Uh, the gateway units, probably at the, first, at the first, I mean, uh, one one upgrade would be really, really effectively at this time. Uh, adding some more pylons, and uh, both players are really getting really close to the supply block, but uh, not happening at the moment. Also, I don't think the Puzo is auditing the, the starport after the factory, not really using the factory to produce anything. Uh, no widow mines. No, nothing at the moment. Just going for the combat shield and the steam pack, out of the tech labs for the barracks. Uh, constantly producing more marines, more marauders, having quite a big bio force here. Um, it's, uh, it looks like it could be just enough to deal with a Protoss attack if it would happen uh, really really soon. <laughs> um, not seeing any Mothership Core I believe here from the Protoss player. A uh, little bit strange. Uh, his Mothership Core is always nice to have because of the overcharge overcharge thing and uh, making your Nexus into planetary Nexus or <laughs> some kind of... Uh, going for the upgrades 1-1 a little bit later than I was expecting and probably expecting himself uh, Trying to chrono boost the forges to, to compensate the timing loss. Um, just producing uh, more, more, more zealots, more sentries. Not completely using all the five gates at the moment, so uh, something to tune up a little bit because of the economical things and seeing it's not really working perfectly here. A lot of off time for for the gateways and. Uh, the it, that probably means that you can save at least those 150 minerals to produce something more and more useful for the early game on. Uh, we're closing into the 10 minutes mark here in the game. And I think that turn player is moving out of the base and just uh, going for looking for the scouting, looking for the proxy pylons here and there and trying to catch up the Protoss player and uh, waiting for a little bit of attack. Yeah, placing down also some missile turrets. Uh, He's always afraid of the Dark Templars, and I believe it's because he scouted those that uh, Twilight Council on the on the bottom of the or bottom of the Brodos base. Yeah, the Dark Templars are all, always need things that you need to be afraid of, and uh, it's used really, really oftenly here on on the ladder. And I believe it's not a real ladder game here; it's just a friendly match between the two Latvian players, both really, really strong ones, and. Uh, just need a little bit closer eyes on the Puzo here at the moment. He's in Diamond League because he's definitely the master level player. Just getting into this game and getting back on the heart of the swarm. Yeah, at the moment we're seeing uh, nothing really, really, really going on. At uh, just macroing up and producing the units, and I think that the Heartless is going for the Immortal. Just added for the army, and meanwhile that Puzo is moving out of the base, and having to do the Medivax. Lot of marines, marauders, uh, some widow mines. Heartless is seeing it. Definitely is seeing that. And uh, uh, let's see what his uh, answer will be to this. Yeah, warping, warping in more zealots. He's definitely going for the zealot heavy army. Here with the sentries and making the force fields. Uh, it's all about the force fields here now. And uh, how good they will be. And we're going looking for this engagement really, really soon. Uh, 
the observer is placed really nicely here, just to see how the, what's going on. Uh, we don't mind start borrowing in. Oh, and <laughs> that's the trick, just to pull off. And, oh, whoa, very nice force fields here. Just lining them up really nicely, but uh, is that enough? Uh, the reinforcing salads are, charged, are morphed in. Oh, and I believe it is. Uh, very nice, very nice in. Very nice encounter here for the Protoss player. Those salads are really, really strong with 1 1 upgrade and the charge charge thing, and uh, definitely better than Marines and more others with just 1 0. And not really. I mean, uh, the healing from the Medivax doesn't really count here. Okay, the first engagement is over here, and uh, it's a small victory for the Protoss player. I mean, even bigger than smaller. He was in behind a little bit of the of the supply count. Now he's ahead. And uh, going for expansion, though, with a little bit denied for the, from the Puzu. Now, of course, it's a little bit dangerous to, to keep those two Medivacs here. It can be easily sniped even with the sentries. Okay, and the expansion is going on from the Protoss, and uh, it's already on and have made on and placed down from the Terran player, and it's going for third orbital command center here. Uh, not playing really protectively, more than economics, and of course need those scans and mules already. Continue to playing a lot of heavy bio force editing, two more barracks uh, in Tech Lab, and yeah, I'm just waiting more more upgrades from from Puzo, its armory is going on the way, mm, just trying to s catch where were those engineering planes, yeah, and it's finally going for the one armor upgrade as well. And meanwhile, as Brothers players almost have two, two, uh, two one upgrades, and uh, two upgrades for the ground weapon damage, and uh, armor is going on as well. Going for high Templar, high Templar build, and the uh, Templar archives are almost ready, and now robotics facility somewhere in the basin. It's probably going to be really, really nice. And uh, we are expecting storms here. Also, merging in the Archons. It's, you need to remember the Archons are quite good for against the Marines. And quite heavy unit and nice for the tanking here. Of course, uh, most of the players are, are choosing the Colossi over the Templars. But you yes, don't need to underestimate the Templars. You need to play really good with the ghosts to snipe them all out. And if you don't, oh, that damage is really, really massive. And together with the charge lots, oh, it can be devastated for the Terran player here. Uh, the supply count for the both players are really evening out. Uh, both on three bases. Uh, I'll just see, I just want to see the drop going on on the bottom of the map. Uh, meanwhile, the Terran is taking the middle of the map and going for the Excel Naka Tower and maybe even going for offensive and dropping the back of this. Uh, as we've seen, yeah, no, 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 I don't, don't see it's rallied up and really he's paying a lot of attention to this drop here on the bottom of the base. And it's down a lot of Marines and two Marauders steaming up, shooting up. Oh yeah, and uh, meanwhile the army from the middle of the map is going in attack at the position as well. Attacking for the third base. Uh, it seems like the drops cleared up. Oh no, no, just picked up and ready to move. Uh, not so good engagement for the Puzo in the middle of the map. Forced to run back. And yeah, those, those charlots are really strong and catching up the units really, really fast. I still need to deal with this drop here in the natural gonna kill some probes for sure. I think the income tab is quite even for the both players at the moment. Uh, 54 SCVs and 50, 53 probes for the Perotas player. Um, seeing the units lost tab is quite equal for the both players as well. Uh, so yeah, at the moment nothing. Not, no one's really ahead. Uh, not mentioning that the Protoss player is a little bit ahead in the supply. Okay, and the Templars are out. Mm, so a little bit missed. Uh, is there storm? No, no storm upgrade made yet. Uh, going for Colossi, strange choice a little bit, and because I've been seeing that the Puzo is also making the Vikings. Uh, why Colossi? And not producing the storm for the Templars. Uh, maybe a little mind game. Maybe not. I'm not really sure at this point. 
Okay, placing down some proxy pylons here. And probably somewhere else, yes. Uh, yeah, just checking out and not letting the Terran to take the fourth base. Terran is pulling again to look really massive on the on the Marauders, having two Vikings and a couple of Medibucks. Okay, it seems that the Heartless is waiting for the Colossi to arrive and uh, meanwhile it's expanding on the for the fourth base and it's taking a lead. Uh, Terran need to take the fourth base and also doing a little bit more scouting here. Going for a double drop back on the base uh, could be quite efficient, uh, I believe. Uh, there are just four, four zealots waiting here. Uh, not really much. Uh, at the moment, Puzo is again a little bit supply blocked, going for the 2 2 upgrades to weapon to armor. Uh, meanwhile, the Protoss have already 2 3, I mean 3 2, 3 for the damage, 2 for the armor, and 1 for the. for the plasma shields. Yeah, uh, okay, the drops are going from the two sides. Double drop on the on the main and uh, one in the natural, snapping off some probes. Oh, but um, you know it's it's not really efficient. While the brothers have four bases and Terran is playing only on the three, need to move out and uh, do something with this army. Yeah, um, somehow it seems that the, my frame rate is really, really low with this game. Unfortunately, not really able to fix it at the moment. Uh, sorry, guys, about that. Uh, Hope you can forgive me about this. Okay, the, uh, that drop in the natural definitely made it brought us to turn the back and going to clear up the, the force. Ooh, and the Matibug with the boost gets away and live another day and fight another fight here. Both players are closing into the 200 200. Maximum supply, just some scouting zealots. The main is almost mined out, the natural is so oh, a little bit better, but still. A couple of inactive SCVs. Yeah, some small mistakes that need to be worked on. Both players having them. Uh, nothing really, really hard, but uh, just small mistakes. That you need, but you also you need to fix them to get to the better league and play better. Okay, the, the Terran's attacking here now, and uh, Protoss, Protoss is uh, going to counter the Terran force from behind. Oh, well, he's losing the Nexus for sure in this movement. Uh, still wondering why there is no Mothership Core from the Protoss player. It's really, really, really strange, and you haven't seen this often. Because the Photonova charts and uh, all their abilities, uh, it's not really that 200-200 thing, and uh, you can cannot save the Mothership Core. And oh, the Colossi, they're going down. Oh, the frame rate is so dropping and it's getting so slow, but okay, the the Terran is in the base at the moment, uh, he's catched up really, really badly, and uh, okay, maybe the point isn't that bad, but the uh, Viking count is not enough for, the sh for sure, those Colossi are really burning the army up, and after the stream pack, it's always hurting so, so bad, and also Zealots, and uh, okay, that one imagine the Archon. I believe the Terran can do the middle of the damage. Oh, but he managed to snipe down on Forge and they canceling the Brothers Ground Armor level 3 upgrade. Okay, this fight was. <laughs> this fight is really over, but then in the really good for the Protoss side here, they managed to do it with a lot, lot fewer losses here. Now I do need to remember that all fights need to be cost efficient and just cancelling out the forge and killing just a couple of the buildings is not really worth it at this point of the game when the Protoss have... Okay, it's now the fourth base again and from almost five bases. Uh, cancelling one natural need to turn... <laughs> he needed to turn back at that point, I believe so. And going forward, expand himself because... Of the, okay, just seeing the income tab, it's... Uh, he's ahead a little bit more, but now, but... Uh, Oh, the production tab is not really, not really that great. Uh, still lacking a lot of Vikings and uh, those two colossi they do massive damage and also the archons. Oh, the tanking damage from the, the marauders and charge also taking charge and oh, they're slicing up those marauders really, really well. Uh, just looking for some force fields here, but ah, uh, uh, seems that the Protoss player can do really well without those force fields as well. Since there are no planetary fortress here, just orbital command, and no no assisting from the base. Oh yes, and as I said before, those colossi are just devastating for the Terran player. Playing really, really good by the Heartless, and no, not enough 
not enough Vikings for the Puzu. And yeah, it seems like it's GG. I have to look at the timer as well. And oh, not enough Vikings. Oh yes, that's the thing. Um, that the GG and well played for the both players. And need to compliment the, the Protoss, Heartless, and really nice, really well played and good timing expanse. Uh, just managed to defeat the Puzu really economically and also for the structures and everything. It's, it's really, really good. Um, just wanted to look more on the High Templar play next time, but uh, I believe I need to wait a little bit for that. Well, thank you everyone for the watching. Please subscribe, like and so on, all those other things you can do. Also, please comment of my English if you like and just give some advice or, or any feedback possible. Thank you again and uh, see you all soon.